Welcome to the Star Trek Apologist channel where we believe the original series, the next generation, and the first six movies are without error. So I have decided to make videos highlighting so-called errors with specific characters from both TOS and TNG Star Trek. I have already done Uhura and Picard. Today we'll talk about a common error claimed against Chekhov. I never forget a face, Mr. Chekhov, isn't it? I never thought to see your face again. Chekhov, who is this man? Criminal captain, a product of late 20th century genetic engineering. How does Khan know Chekhov, since Chekhov was not in the episode Space Scene? Well, the answer is actually well known. Just because he was not on the show does not mean he was not on the ship. There is even a joke going around that Chekhov made Khan wait at the restroom. But I am the Star Trek apologist. I can give a much more detailed answer to this question than that. So get ready to learn a bit more about Chekhov, including when he likely came on the ship and where he likely met Khan. First, let me say, I take these episodes as occurring in production order, which a lot of people know it from airing order. I may do another episode on why I use that order. That would likely be my video on the starting issues. Let's start with the fact that people are often transferred around the ship. Let's take Kevin Riley as an example. We know of four posts that he held. He started out as navigator in the naked time. We later learned that he was transferred to engineering, but this seems like an odd move. Why from navigator to engineering? I suspect it may have been a punishment for what he did in the naked time. Other dialogue suggest that it was indeed a move down. Is that you, Riley? What's up? Not me. I am down in the engineering room. Now you've been a bad boy. Maybe so. Whatever I've done, they're sure keeping it a secret from me. According to Conscience of the King, he was later moved up to communication, and then Kirk moved him back down to engineering for his safety. Mr. Spock. Captain. Lieutenant Kevin Riley. Communications. I wish to have him transferred down to the engineering decks. He came up from engineering, Captain. Well, I'm sending him back. Any explanation? He's a fine young officer. He's bound to consider this transfer a disciplinary action. So what can we learn from this? Well, yeah, crew members are moved around to various posts. But also, engineering could be considered a low post for a junior officer. So what do we know about Chekhov? Every indication from Star Trek II is that he had to be on the Enterprise during Space Sea. And he had to have met Khan, for Khan remembered him. But what if I told you there's evidence that he was not on the Enterprise during Mud's Women. This clip from the episode I Mud is often missed by people talking about this issue. Now, 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 Jamie boy, let's have no unauthorized communication. You know this man, Captain? Do I know him? Harcourt, Fenton, Mud, thief. Oh, come now. Swindler and con man. Entrepreneur. Liar and rogue. Did I leave you with that impression? Belongs in jail, which is where I thought I left you, Mud. And thereby hangs your tail. Clearly, Chekhov was not on the ship at that time. So, when did he come aboard the Enterprise? Our first major clue was Cat Spot, when he had this confrontation with DeSalle. You may have encountered a magnetic field or some other obstruction. Mr. Chekhov, recalibrate your sensors. If you need help, you can do it, sir. Not that green. The term green is an indication of someone who is new and inexperienced. But this here is Chekhov saying he's not green. Sounds defensive, which suggests he's relatively new, but maybe six months. But not that he just came on the ship. If he had just come on the ship, he couldn't deny being green. Well, it just so happens the Enterprise was at Earth in episode 22. Tomorrow's yesterday. And three episodes later, in episode 25, we meet Khan. Chekhov most likely came aboard when they were at Earth. So what was Chekhov doing when Khan came aboard? Well, I think he was serving in engineering, and he met Khan when he took over. 
Kobe did not see Khan taking over the engineering section. I believe it is during the takeover the new green officer, Chekhov, tried fighting back and either got stunned or knocked out physically. For the entirety of this scene, he was unconscious off screen. This would mean that they would have met each other in a memorable way. Perhaps Gotti called out Chekhov's name trying to stop him, which is where Khan would have learned his name. And this would appear to be the most likely scenario.